Eric, uh, this is Dr. Ramirez again. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the syllabus, just different parts, so that uh, we're going to take this uh, piece by piece. Anyway, uh, the first part of the syllabus is uh, just simply uh, an idea of when I'm going to be around. And uh, if you can see, I'll be available Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, all the way to 5 o'clock and uh, any other time by app appointment and of course you can reach me at my email address um, the catalog description basically says that the course is assigned for me to help you with a project an original project and uh, writing a uh, report that um, is uh, you know available uh, for for publication and uh, let's see let's look at the course objectives um, the course objectives are uh, real simple you're going to design an original project and you're going to show your ability to apply knowledge in curriculum and instruction and then of course you're going to be able to relate and evaluate the experiences. Um, we're going to go ahead and just um, talk about the different uh, uh, parts of it, but I guess the thing that you need to know is that at the very end you're going to write a 20 to 25 uh, page paper double spaced and it's going to include an abstract, a bio bibliography and appendices and um, you're going to write a one-page uh, abstract, about 250 words, uh, and then the different components, uh, the research questions, if there are any, the rationale why you decided to do that project, the goals and objectives, you'll do a literature research a methodology so that we can complete the project and then uh, help you through the interpretation of the results and then uh, conclusions and the whole thing. Uh, there's a rubric at the very end of this uh, uh, syllabus that I'll explain in a separate video. And then of course you're going to be doing a reflective journal as you go through the whole process. And um, you're going to uh, meet with me online and then we're going to uh, help you with the project. In terms of course evaluation, your project is worth 50% of the grade and then you have a reflective journal that's 20%. Your final presentation discussion is 25% and you will need to do city certification if you have not done that. If you've already done it, then all you have to do is just uh, provide the certificate. So uh, this first week, uh, we're going to try to meet, hopefully online. Otherwise, uh, we'll, we'll kind of brainstorm some things that you might want to discuss as uh, as ideas and you'll do have to do the city training by week two you're going to need to turn in your city training certificate and we're going to refine the list of projects that you can do initially we'll start big and then we're going to cut it down to five uh, by week three you're going to uh, to begin to develop an annotated bibliography of uh, different kinds of projects that you might be interested in which really relate to those five uh, projects that you or five ideas that you want to try. In week four we're going to look at the methods and you're going to write a, a short brief paper uh, no more than five pages by week five, you're going to add another eight to twelve pages when we're going to talk about the uh, the annotated bibliography, and you'll do a literature review. 
Then we're going to talk about actually doing the project in week six. So about a month and a half in, we're going to get buckled down and do, do the work. Uh, by week seven, we'll uh, refine the methodology and look at what you've done in your literature review so that in week eight, we formalize the pro project plan and then you'll begin to develop your conceptual framework first graphically and if you notice on week 10 in a narrative which is another two to four pages by week 11 you're going to report on the progress and that some of some of that will be written in your reflective journal which i want to look at at that particular time and then weeks 12 and 13, we're going to work on that. And you'll add the last three to five pages. By that time, you're going to get feedback and you're going to submit that project uh, to me. And then on week 15, uh, all three students that are assigned to the different instructors are going to present their projects and findings. The rest of this document uh, you can go ahead and read at your leisure and then what I will do is toward the very end uh, or in the next video I'm going to go over the uh, grading rubric so hope this helps it's real quick but um, that uh, that'll give you uh, an opportunity to finish up and if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to contact me